working on Leonard. Morning to help. Ball away. Oh, what a shot. Penny Hardaway. The defense is going to learn sooner or later to stay on their feet. Hardaway with the ball fake once again, and the defenders all up in the air. Victimized Alonzo several times on that ball fake today. What's up everyone and welcome back to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill and today we're going to be talking about the Comp de Garçon collab with Nike on the foam posits in the black colorway. So let's take a quick sneak peek. Welcome back to another unboxing and review if you're new to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe give this video a thumbs up if you have any comments or questions leave those down below hit that notification box we do have a ton of heat coming out that i don't want you to miss out on also be sure to check out that join button for all of our membership perks as well as our merch store as mentioned earlier we we're going to be talking about the Comte Garcon collab done with nike on the foam posits this shoe as you know released in two different colorways i will be going through the overview of the black colorway then we're going to talk about size and fit on these followed by how i style this really fashion forward shoe and then we're going to jump into how these shoes are currently doing on the resale market so let's jump right into it this is the first time i've ever owned a foam posit i have been a huge fan of penny hardaway whose shoes this is and um I've always collected his cards. I just never actually owned a pair of the foam posits. So very excited to add this to my collection. This is a solid all black colorway with some hints of white accents throughout. Really cool concept going on here. This is the first time that Nike has ever actually changed the kind of molding of this shoe. They usually will just add on top of the foam posit, but this is a completely different structure, which really is cool. I love what they've done with it, and I think this is a very sleek shoe that is very high-end and fashion forward. We've got a nice just leather toe box on the front here and some nice black accents that just accentuate the top of the shoe. Black laces, a nice simplistic embroidered Nike uh, swoosh on the front there. And then we've got the air right here in accents of white on top of the black mesh tongue. We're used to actually seeing Penny Hardaway's logo on here, but they've actually swapped it out for the air sign. I'm not sure if I love that part. We do see Penny Hardaway's logo on the bottom, but I do love that, you know, we're used to seeing it on the tongue just because it shows you who the shoe is. Uh, but other than that, we've got this simplistic black pull tab on the top here. And let's look at those details and then move on to the side panels.
to the side panels. For those of you who are really into the fashion trends, this was actually in the fall winter 21 in Tokyo. cool to see on the runway. Uh, Comme des Garçons just does such a great job specifically with their collabs that they do with Nike. Obviously they are on the more expensive price point range, uh, but they do really come out with some great collaboration concepts and I really love what they've done with the foam posits. Specifically on the side here, this is just a really, really cool spiral effect that they're giving us on the side panels. And then we've got this nice kind of polka dotted pattern on the top of that midsole as we work our way around that pattern definitely gives this kind of maze like effect which i think is really cool it's different and it really just makes this shoe stand out even though it's an all black kind of matted look it really does just give it something that makes it super unique and different we have the comme des garçons home plus logo on the back there this actually reminds me of my carnivores if you haven't seen that video definitely go back because i do think that this shoe has taken a lot of inspiration from the carnivore collab that carmen garçon did with nike on the insole it's just nice and black we've got the dual logo in there with three swooshes and again on the bottom it's completed with just a black outsole and that penny hardaway logo let's take a look at those final details All right, so moving on to size and fit on these, I would say definitely stick true to size. I'm a seven and a half, and I felt like these fit me to a T. I have heard from people who have wider feet that Penny Hardaway's foam posits are extremely comfortable, so I do recommend this for those of you who have flat, wider feet. I've heard great things, um, but as somebody with narrow, high arch feet, this also is a very comfortable shoe as well. Uh, and a great performance shoe, obviously, as we've seen Penny Hardaway play lots of games in these. So definitely stick true to size on this one. All right, so now let's talk about styling. So as we're getting into the holiday season, I really wanted to kind of dress this shoe up a little bit, take it in a different direction, specifically since this is a high fashion shoe that we have seen on the runway. For the first look, I wanted to wear an all silvery shimmery look. I think that the white accents on this kind of give it a more shiny appeal. So I wanted to bring some nice holiday fun to this with a nice shiny top that matched with the skirt in silver. And I matched that with some sparkly silver socks. I did forget to mention, I or this lovely puffer coat. As it is cold, that is definitely not the kind of outfit you wanna wear outside in the winter time. For the 
second look, I kept it all black. I decided to wear just some wide-legged black pants with a nice kind of hint of shimmer on the tank top and a cropped uh, silhouette or silhouette in a cropped uh, style. So definitely think all black goes great with this look and I am definitely feeling this shoe for this upcoming season, but I definitely wanted to bring a little shimmer to it. And final look, I decided to wear a just shiny black blazer. Again, I'm loving the all black with this shoe. I think all black looks amazing with this. Alright, so you let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite look out of the three or how would you style this shoe? So jumping and concluding with how these are doing on the resale market. So these actually sold for a very high price point of $520, which we are used to Comme des Garçons collabs with Nike usually being around that price point. Uh, so it's of no surprise that that's how much these actually retailed for. These are actually going around retail right now if you weren't able to cop them, um, but the larger sizes are going for a little bit more in the region of $600. All right, that's it for this episode. Thanks so much everybody for tuning in. If you're new here today, hit that subscribe if you haven't already, give this, um, this video a thumbs up. Leave any comments or questions down below. Feel free to hit that notification box. We do have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button as well as our merch store. This is Shay TV. My name is Marissa Hill. We will catch you all in the next episode.